So what we focused on in this study was 30 adolescents with bipolar disorder, and bipolar disorder is known to be a severe mood disorder in adults. In teenagers, it has even more fluctuations in mood, more episodes, uh, more symptoms over a greater period of time. And so it really drives the question of whether we can be doing more in our assessments and our diagnoses. And to this point, we've used mainly interviewing and observation to reach these diagnoses, but the hope is that down the road, we'll be able to use biological markers, and two of the leading biological markers that we've been focusing on are markers of inflammation and markers of uh, brain health, proteins that relate to brain health, and these are measurable in the blood. What we found was that adolescents with bipolar disorder who had higher manic symptoms also had higher levels of an inflammation marker called CRP. And this is interesting not only because it might be helpful to us in assessing these adolescents, but also because CRP is a risk factor for heart disease. Teenagers give us a great opportunity because they're young and medically healthy and because they've had the illness for a relatively short period of time. And so, whereas adults may have had 20 or 30 years of the illness and its treatments and some of the stresses associated with having bipolar disorder, teenagers are uh, early in the course of illness and might give an ideal opportunity to examine biological markers and how they relate with the symptoms of the illness. Taking these things together, it may be the case that inflammation is both something that can be looked at to understand the course of bipolar disorder and something to help us understand why bipolar disorder is linked with heart disease.